Whiskey lovers and welcome to another one of Mark's Whiskey Ramblings. Now yesterday Amber and I climbed the mountain in, uh, in Holyrood Park, 251 meters and we had a fantastic view over Edinburgh, the, uh, the capital of Scotland. I will show you some videos of that later on but it was too windy up there to create this little video so we had to climb back down and then we came all the way to the harbour to the ocean terminal where we visited the Royal Yacht Britannia which you can actually see behind me and we thought well it's not as windy here so we might as well do our whiskey rambling down here and what I would like to talk to you about today is another one of the Glenfiddich cask collection it's a new one uh, the cask collection it's only available in the duty-free range and this one is called the select cask now what the uh, malt master Brian Kinsman has done is create a vatting in the Glenfiddich Solera vat um, it's a composition of bourbon casks, European oak, and even a bit of red wine cask in there. Now you wouldn't be able to tell that from the color because as you can see it is in my opinion a bright golden. It is bottled at the drinking strength of 40% ABV so the entry level strength basically. It's a no age statement whiskey like I said it's a vatting of bourbon, sherry and red wine casks. Right on the nose Well, I get mostly traits from the bourbon casks. I get the warm vanilla, I get some coconut, some barley sugars. Well, there is also a spiciness in there, maybe a touch of cloves and some white pepper. That's probably from the sherry casks. Some fruity notes emerge as well, mostly candied oranges. But to be completely honest, I do not get any red wine cask influence here. I take it the influence was rather small, so maybe there's only just a tiny bit of red wine casks in the mix. On the palate then. Well, it's got a good body, it's got a mouth coating quality and immediately it's quite prickly. There's a peppery, a peppery kick to it but also a very drying element. The throat is, 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 is becoming dry and I presume that has to do with the, uh, uh, the tannins from the sherry casks. Again, the red wine casks, maybe a fruity note in there, some, some red berries maybe in the background but again the influence of the red wine is to my opinion rather limited. Right on the finish then. finish is medium to short or should I say short to medium whatever it's not a very long finish it's not a very long finish by a long shot and to be honest there's not that much going on the select cask is basically an entry level whiskey this might be a good whiskey to introduce someone to whiskey too having said that it is quite affordable and hence it might be worth seeking out. This is what I would call a card player's whiskey. A whiskey that you put on the table with friends uh, when, you're, when you're chatting and playing cards or whatever. And before the evening's out your bottle might be empty because this is very quaffable. But then again it is an entry level malt, nothing fancy. It lacks a bit of complexity maybe but still it is a quite quaffable dram. And that's all for this whiskey rambling from the capital of Scotland, Edinburgh the Royal Britannia behind me. Anyway, that's all for this Whisk Rambling and I hope to see you again at one of Mark's Whisk Ramblings real soon and until then, 
May the mold be with you. Bye-bye.